Nathan Rott, a graduate of the University of Montana and a reporter of NPR's National Desk, states that more than $19 billion has since been adopted to state wildlife agencies from funds generated by taxes on hunters. The sport of hunting in the U.S. is crucial to our economy and our society as well. Hunting and being a responsible hunter is more than just killing animals. Hunting can give people new experiences and make people see that hunting is not what it is, what some people say it is. It can also teach you life lessons. Hunting also creates large sums of money for America that they can utilize for many different projects and it also helps strengthen the herd of different species of animals. Many say that hunting is abusive and just downright wrong. And PETA is one of those organizations who is against hunting. They think that hunters only kill for the thrill, which is true, but that's not the only reason people hunt. <coughs> they also say that hunt, uh, when hunting and when you shoot an animal, the quick kills are rare, and some animals suffer for long amounts of time before actually dying, which also is true, but... Trained hunters will know when to take the shot, when or when not to, and where to shoot the animal to put it down. And many people question as to why hunt. And Jan Dizzard, a professor at Amherst College, has an answer for these people. He quotes that there are probably as many reasons to hunt as there are hunters, but the core reasons can be reduced to four. To experience nature as a participant, to feel an intimate, sensuous connection to place, to take responsibility for one's food, and to acknowledge our kinship with wildlife. Hunting, the taxes generated from hunting and the costs, like to buy ammunition and guns, create a large percentage of funds to help wildlife agencies help preserve nature and to keep these conservation areas looking good. Hunting also helps reduce the spread of disease. I mean, think about it. If there's a d disease going around and there's an overpopulation of a certain herd, um, there's a lot more of animals that this disease can be brought upon, causing more death. And with hunting, it helps control this so that not as many animals are killed from disease. The number of hunters in the U.S. is declining, and Rott, Nathan Rott claims that only 5% of uh, Americans over 16 actually hunt. And this graph here shows um, the uh, num number of people who hunt. This is, this is like 1991 to 2016, and you can see that it's declining. And this over here indicates the number of, the percentage of adults who hunt. So, hunting generates 60% of funding for, um, for these agencies. And the decline in hunters could change the way these agencies are funded and may even close some down. And as long as hunting continues to be allowed, not only will billions of dollars be accumulated, but it will also give people many new experiences in nature. There is a need for increase in hunters, and there is a way to fix this. And as Americans, we cannot let the number of hunters continue to decline. We must become educated and learn to be responsible, conservative hunters. And the way you can fix this is by starting education programs or like mentoring <laughs> programs to get people more educated on hunting. You can also lower the age restrictions that it takes for people to hunt and shorten hunter safety classes, which do take a while, but states are working to shorten this. With this plan in mind, the number of hunters will be boosted. One, because it will be easier to hunt two, because it takes less time to get their license, and three, because it gets more people informed about hunting. Elizabeth Diagno states that over 30, or exactly 30 states have created mentoring programs for hunting, 
29 have decreased the age it takes to go hunting, and some have shortened safety classes as well. She emphasizes that since the inception of youth mentoring programs and, the age, and lowering the age requirements, the number of new youth has grown by about 388,000 since 2005. With the adoption of my plan, wildlife parks will flourish more than ever due to the increase in income from hunters. <clears throat> this can benefit nature and life itself. People will experience more opportunities in nature. They will know they made a difference and that the money they have put towards hunting has gone to a good cause. More money results in agencies being able to fix um, conservation areas and upkeep what needs to be upkept. After visualizing the future, all that is needed for you is to take action. All that is required for people is to understand what hunting is and how it is important, how important it actually is. A challenge for you is to get your hunter safety license, which you can acquire online and which relatively is easy to do. You just got to take a test and go explore nature and take care of the environment. The sport of hunting is necessary for our economy for many reasons. The world in which we live in is beautiful, and it needs to be kept that way, and if possible, made better. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. And we ask now that you would go ahead and work on calling on students uh, so that you can answer some questions they might have. Thank you. Sure. Okay, so you you talked about the recent like decline in hunters. Yes. Do you think the recent gun violence, violences in America had something to do with that? Honestly, I don't think it does because a lot of the weapons that um, gun violence, like for example, like school shootings and stuff like that, a lot of those weapons are illegal. Like, they wouldn't be able to be used for hunting anyways. So I don't, I don't think it really has much to do with that. Because also you can hunt with, like, bow and arrow. And yeah. You can even hunt with spears <coughs> if you want. <laughs> Hope. All right, you mentioned about how some states, like, lowered the age for you to become a hunter. How old do you have to be in Missouri? Uh, right now you, I believe it's six. Actually, yes. Wow. Jessica. Um, are there lim or are there limits on which animals or how many animals you can hunt? And yes. Uh, are they? What? Uh, there's limits to how many animals you can kill. Like, unless it's like the state wants to get rid of the animals, then there won't be a limit. But as far as hunting and conservation is concerned, yeah, there's a limit on how many you can kill. Like deer. It's, you can only shoot one buck a year, and I think it's only like two does per county, I think. Uh, Luke? So you mentioned that with our money, be, with our money that we pay towards these wildlife preserves, um, what exactly are some ways in the preserve? Um, like, let's say... Uh, Land, like maybe expanding the conservation areas or just uh, if, if there's a wildfire or something. I mean, a lot of that money just goes towards helping preserve areas which is needed <coughs> nowadays. We'll take one more question, please. Okay. <coughs> Tommy. What is the cost of a hunting license? Um... I know it's cheap. It, I don't think it would be, would be more than like you talking like get your actual license or like buying a tag. No license. A license. I I don't think it'd be more than twenty dollars, but I'm I'm not sure on the exact amount. All right, let's go ahead and give him a round of applause. Thank you very much. For